That wasn't bad. Hey, 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 what's up? Welcome to Vientiane. It's my first time here. It's actually my first time in Laos. I'm really excited to check this place out. So let's go. So I don't have a whole lot planned. I'm going to go on a semi aimless kind of walk. There's there's a few places I want to check out, but the rest of the time I'm just going to kind of wander around and see what the place is like. I want to, you know, eat some local food. I'd love to interact with some people. There'll probably be a beer at some stage, and I'm mostly just looking forward to checking this place out. So I actually haven't done too much research about this place. I don't usually like to. When I go to a place for the first time, I like to kind of walk around and make up an opinion for myself. Too many times I've like been somewhere new and I've watched videos or taken recommendations from people and they've said, you know, don't go to this place or avoid this area. And I've actually gone there way later and really liked it. So I like to just make up my own mind and make my own opinion. I guess the things I like might not necessarily be what other people like. So today it's just an aimless wander around and we'll see where we end up. So I'm not normally one for tourist attractions, but this is actually somewhere I did want to come to and it's been really interesting to come and see. I mean, it's beautiful down here. Unfortunately, the fountains aren't going at the moment. They're supposed to be pretty spectacular, but it has been really interesting for sure. And I am glad I came down here. This behind me here is the World Peace Gong, which I wanted to ring, but there's no stick or something to hit it with. So I might just give it a... Yeah, that was a bit of a letdown. So, so far, walking around, it's been really interesting to see. You know, I love just walking around, looking at the streets, looking at the architecture, and there's a really interesting mix here. You see these really cool old traditional style houses and buildings, and then there's some ultra modern ones. Then this area where I am, there's a lot of government buildings and things like that. There's like gigantic buildings. So the contrast here is actually really fascinating. I'm having a great time just walking around here. That wasn't bad. So I wanted to get off the main road and do some exploring in some little local areas. I started just walking down some random road which has turned into a dirt road which is taking me, I have absolutely no idea where I'm going but that's all good, that's what travel's all about. I am having a really great time walking around and exploring this place, checking everything out, but I'm getting hungry. It's time for some lunch. So 
I have come around to get some lunch in some random spot off the side of the road. Well, actually, I'm kind of on the road, actually. So, I honestly didn't really know what to expect food-wise. I wasn't sure what the food was going to be like. But looking at the menu, it's almost exactly the same as, as Thai food, which is no surprise. I mean, Thailand's only a couple hundred meters that way. So, the food all looks very similar. I got myself a chicken, it's a chicken and cashew nut in like a little bit of a curry with rice. But on, when I looked at the menu, they had all a lot of the same same dishes you would find in Thailand. You know, that Pad Thai, a lot of Isan food, you know, Northern Thailand food. However, I am keen to try this. Mmm. Oh, that's good. You know, it is actually quite a little bit different from the chicken and cashew nuts that you get in Thailand. Similar menu, similar items, but the taste is different. There's a bit more spice to this, a bit more punch to it. Really good. Yeah, that's really good. Oh man, I made incredibly short work of that. That was really good. Like I said, different to what I was expecting. The chicken and cashew nut that you have in Thailand is actually quite mild. This one had quite a bit of spice, like really full of flavor. So. Awesome, I'll definitely have it again. This is a great little restaurant. I don't know the name of it. I don't even know if it has a name, but if this is anything to go by, I'm gonna love all the food here. Oh man, awesome lunch. I ate that way too quick. I'm super full, so I need to keep walking and walk this off, I think. One really nice thing about Vientiane is that there's these beautiful temples everywhere. It seems like everywhere I'm walking today, there's a ton of temples and they're so, like, they're so beautiful. I love visiting temples, they're so peaceful and I just feel good being here. This little guy. I'm sure it's a very tough life being a temple captain. So I have come round to a bar called The Tipsy Elephant and I got myself a beer Lao to enjoy. I was recommended this bar. There's a great view over the river. You can see the sunset and I wanted a beer. That's good. I actually really like this beer. So my first impressions of Vientiane and Lao is... I have many actually, you know, it's, it's completely different to what I expected. I don't know what I expected, but it's got a real, I mean, I'm, I'm really enjoying the city. It's got a real, it's, it's hardly even a city. It's more like, reminds me of like a little country town in Northern Thailand. It's just really, really chill vibe, especially with all the temples and everything. It just feels really relaxed. It's not at all busy anywhere, you know, it doesn't seem chaotic at all so it's just got a really laid-back vibe the people I've encountered have all been really lovely and really friendly it's not densely populated like you know I was just in Saigon in Vietnam recently and that's just there's so many people in such a small area but here it's a completely different feeling to that so there's not people everywhere so every now and then when you do encounter someone in the street they're all really friendly and you know smile say hello and just make me feel like really welcome here it's nice I definitely love the food. I've had three meals here now in Laos and I've enjoyed every single one of them. The local beer is good, beer Lao. Yeah, this is this is good. I can drink, drink this all day. And thankfully I've had like this spectacular weather so I'm just able to sit here by the river and enjoy this amazing sunset. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this sunset, enjoy this beer. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers.